I tried to explain to him that it wasn't my order. And he says, well, obviously you're lying to me. Debbie Gill in Baltimore County knew there was a problem when she got an email last week, supposedly from Amazon, claiming she'd ordered Apple products at the cost of more than $5,600. She knew she hadn't, but the man who answered the toll-free number listed on the email insisted and told her she could go to jail. He knew her birth date, her address, and most upsetting to her, he somehow knew her kids' names. And I said, you know, what if somebody comes knocking on my door? and they take me out of here when I'm by myself. And that's what scared me. The threats and intimidation with this type of imposter scam, particularly the Amazon one, is all too common, especially right now, as people are doing more online shopping, according to the Better Business Bureau of Greater Maryland President Angie Barnett. We've seen it absolutely escalate during the pandemic, and that's because people are financially fragile, people are more isolated, people are, um, maybe having, you know, challenges in their life. The scam starts with a phishing email, and the goal is to get the targeted victim on the phone and convince them they owe money. Barnett says the scammers will usually try to get payment through a prepaid debit card or an iTunes gift card. They may also try to get account numbers and passwords. Take a breath, step away, hang up and actually call Amazon or call whomever that authoritarian figure is being used. I just didn't appreciate it. He was so rude. And I really, really wanted to give it back to him. The scammer also told Debbie she had an unpaid line of credit. Fortunately, she didn't hand over any money or information, and she doesn't want it to happen to anyone else. Some poor person, elderly, not elderly, they could have paid this. They could have just said, oh, you know, and maybe not thought, oh, well, okay, yeah, maybe I do want this stuff or whatever. And they could have given this man what he wanted. So you can report and read about scams and how to protect yourself on the Better Business Bureau website. We have a link to that website on our website and in the WBAL-TV app. Kyrie, WBAL-TV 11 News.